It's always been about the river in Muscle Shoals. The Tennessee River is, and has been, the center of history and trade in the Shoals area of Northwest Alabama, 30 miles south of Tennessee, 20 miles east of Mississippi, and one hour west of Huntsville. This was true when Native Americans lived on the lands bordering the river, as it was in 1918, when President Woodrow Wilson authorized building Wilson Dam, to provide power for plants needed during World War I. The river and its dam were why automotive tycoon Henry Ford said in 1921 he would build a metropolis and employ one million workers in the shoals. And the proximity to the river is only one of the reasons the largest LEED certified next generation green facility in North America is ideal for a variety of heavy manufacturing applications. In addition to river transport, the facility has a rail yard with east and westbound connections to Norfolk Southern's main line, and there's easy highway access to the plant via four-lane roads and the I-65 corridor. The Association of American Railroads Quality Assurance Program, M1003 certified facility, is now manufacturing rail cars. However, the 2.2 million square foot under one roof plant can also be used for just about any type of heavy industrial manufacturing. The fenced property stretches for almost 700 acres in an industrial park that also includes a European manufacturing company. Infrastructure built for the plant includes a power substation and a four lane highway entrance and exit. Electricity for the plant is provided by two 20 megawatt services with automatic transfer. Compressed air capacity is 30,000 CFM. Other utilities include natural gas, oxygen, argon, nitrogen, and carbon dioxide, with a building management system which oversees heating, cooling, ventilation, compressed air, process gases, and lighting. Building column spans range from 30 feet to 90 feet, with 60-foot ceilings in most areas, with an elevated section of 75 feet. The fabrication department covers 444,000 square feet, with 33 10-ton semi-gantry cranes and five 10-ton overhead cranes. Its state-of-the-art, top-of-the-line equipment allows for burning, bending, and blasting up to 2 inches thick and 150 feet long on the plasma machines and up to 10 inches and 65 feet on the oxy-fuel machines. A KUKA plasma robot is used for beveling small parts. In the same department, there are six Messer plasma tables, four 22 by 66 feet, one 12 by 160 feet, and one 22 by 40 feet. Two Gasparini hydraulic brake presses are 330 ton by 3.1 meters and 500 ton by 4 meters. There are also two Colgar 800 ton by 10.3 meters. These work individually or as a tandem unit with the ability of producing a single part of 20 meters. Fabrication also includes a Davy plate roll of 1 quarter inch by 16 feet a Franklin angle fabricator, a small parts blast and paint line, and three Cincinnati CNC vertical machining centers. The adjacent construction department covers some 797,000 square feet with four production and tooling lines, 10 20-ton overhead cranes, 20 10-ton full gantry cranes in sub-assembly area, 97 10-ton semi-gantry cranes in four lines, six large robotic cells of 33 by 46 feet with ABB drives and arms with wolf controllers. Currently, the equipment shop includes CNC pipe benders, a cold saw, and the ability to fabricate, install, and test all types of rail car braking systems. Moving into the car repair area, covering 35,200 square feet, there are two bay doors, a rail car transfer table, and two 20-ton overhead cranes. The automated state-of-the-art finishing, paint, and blast department covers 468,000 square feet, 
with two identical wheel abraders and rotational robotic blast booths, capable of lifting, rotating, and blasting a car with four robots. There are two manual blast booths to be used as needed. There are two identical painting lines, including a manual paint booth to provide a pre-coat in non-accessible areas. A robotic paint booth where the car is lifted while four robots paint the car. An inspection booth and a four-stage curing chamber using an evaporation process with minimal heat. The painting process can apply any coating, 1K and 2K, and all emissions are captured by the regenerative thermal oxidizers, providing zero emissions to the environment. The assembly department is next, where the car receives trucks, rolling boards, hatch covers, couplers, brakes, and decals. There are three car transfer tables, five bay doors, and two 20-ton overhead cranes. The facility also includes a 5,400-square-foot showroom, a 30,000-square-foot south loading dock with five docks and two bay doors, as well as an 8,700-square-foot north loading dock with two docks and four bay doors, with trash compactor bays at both north and south loading docks. This state-of-the-art facility, featuring the latest in technology and top-of-the-line equipment, can be modified to meet almost any manufacturing need. For more information, call Glenn Pringle at 334-517-7700 or John Stein at 256-370-5000.